welcome to some biology class. Friends, today we shall discuss about gamma tones. Before that, I request all of my friends, those who have not subscribed my YouTube channel, please subscribe. Gamma tone is a tight tone. It consists of three amino acid residues which are level I, I plus one and I plus two. In a gamma ton and residues are I and I plus two and the middle residue is I plus one. Such tones are stabilized by a hydrogen bond which connect the carbonyl oxygen of one amino acid and the amide hydrogen of another amino acid which is two residues ahead in the polypeptide chain. So the hydrogen bond is formed between residue I and I plus two. So residue I is hydrogen bonded with residue I plus 2. In gamma tones and residues are separated by two peptide bonds. This is the inter-residue hydrogen bond which connects residue I and I plus 2. This bond provides stability to the gamma ton. This figure shows a part of the polypeptide chain. And here you can see that this is a short segment of three amino acids which constitute one gamma ton. And the inter-residue hydrogen bond is formed between the carbonyl oxygen of one amino acid and the amide hydrogen of another amino acid which is two residues added in the sequence. So gamma tons are short segments of three amino acids stabilized by an inter-residue hydrogen bond. Gamma tons are fairly common in proteins. They are usually found in the ligand binding site or the active site. On the basis of dihedral angles phi and psi of the middle residue Gamma tons are classified into two different groups such as classic gamma ton and inverse gamma ton. Inverse gamma ton. Classic gamma tons are far less common in proteins. They are usually found at the loop ends of beta hairpin. Except one, all are associated with the reversal in the direction of the polypeptide chain. One classic gamma turn occurs at the edge of the second hypervariable region of the light chain in some immunoglobulins. For classic gamma turn, phi is equal to 70 and psi is equal to minus 60. Second type of gamma ton is inverse ton for which phi is equal to minus 70 and psi is equal to 60. Inverse gamma tons are more common in proteins. Usually they are not associated with the reversal in the direction of the polypeptide chain. Such tons give rise to kinks in the polypeptide they are considered as an intermediate in folding and therefore stabilizing strands before the formation of beta pleated sheets. So friends, this is all about gamma ton. For more updates, please subscribe my YouTube channel, Sam Biology Class.